Hey, I'm Chris Zepp from Make Everything, and today I'm going to go over a really simple and fast way to get a mirror polish out of raw steel using a grinder. Check it out. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about polishing steel to a mirror polish. And what I want to talk about today is this set from Ferret Abrasives. It is a set of attachments on a kind of a Rolock style, what Ferret calls combi click, um, for your quarter inch die grinder, either an angled die grinder or a straight die grinder. And what this is going to allow us to do is bring this raw material with mill scale on it up to a mirror finish in a really quick and easy package with just a couple of steps. So let's just right into it. We're going to start with this and this is a 60 grit uh, aluminum oxide flap disc. And what I like about the Farad products is they talk about the RPMs you should run this at. So this is a maximum 19 1500 rpm disc we're going to throw it in this little grinder we're going to set it to 15,000 just so that we're below that we're not ripping off material and this is just a raw piece of steel let's get into it So it was very important to grind past the uh, mill scale. So if, you, if this was a welded piece, you may already have ground past the mill scale. But once we get past the flat disc, what's nice about these is you're not changing out the actual arbor. You're just twisting out the grinding disc itself really fast. And we're going to move up from that over to this red surface conditioning pad and this all comes in this little kit so now we'll go back over this with that this might look like it's a mirror polish but let me show you I'll give you a real close-up and you can see how it, it might look mirrored but there's still a lot of scratch marks in it that's not gonna fly we're gonna turn our grinder down to 10,000 rpms for this step And you can see how those scratches are getting less and less. And there's also a lot less grinder marks in it. So we can pull that one off and move up. The next is this special medium hard grinding disc. Now this one is a recommended RPM of 9,500. So we'll set our grinder to 10,000. So you can see how I'm minimizing the amount of scratches. So now once we're done with this one, we can move up to an actual polishing pad. And what I like about this little set is that it comes with some polishing compound. So this is a light green polishing paste. And if we go into their little book, there is a chart that talks about the type of cloth ring and the type of polishing that you're doing. Um, it tells you what to use. So for this we're going to be using this green for the steel. We're going to get that on there, get this loaded up with some compound. We're going to keep our grinder at about 10,000 and then we should be able to bring this up to a higher mirror, mirror polish. Anytime I'm polishing, I like to keep a microfiber cloth around just because that excess polish uh, and compound will build up. And it'll leave some hairline scratches, but we can go back and uh, we can continue to polish with this. We can add a little more compound. 
and we can keep going. bit of simple green get some of that polishing paste off of there and clean it up you can see the dirt that was left on there and this is now a nearly perfect mirror polish you can see the way it reflects directly the piece below it now I left some kind of heavy ripples in this when I was grinding it with this. Now if I had taken a little more care to flatten this out before going through these steps, there wouldn't be as much distortion. But you can see from mill scale to polish in basically four simple steps, really, really fast, provides really, really good results. Um, and the way you can really tell the clarity of a mirror polish is the distance at which you can see a mirror. So I can hold this thing, you know, two feet away from myself and very clearly see my own reflection in it. Really, uh, really a simple project once you break it down. All right, that about does it for this video. Uh, like I said, you could take this a little bit further. You obviously could go at this with uh, wet sandpaper and really sand this thing up through the grits. But if you're looking for a fast and nice polished finish. Um, this system is great and what I love about this is that you can buy this set and then you sort of have the guidelines as to where to go and how, what to replenish. Um, instead of looking through a huge catalog and saying, oh maybe if I try this and then that it'll work. Um, this sort of gives you the parameters right away. Obviously you're not going to burn through this whole block of polishing compound right away and all the consumables that I use absolutely are still good to go um, you know even though I just did this small piece so if you're interested in this check it out there'll be some links down in the description below thank you to Farad for sponsoring my shop and supporting me here providing me with really high quality of braces that you see me use in my other metalworking videos if you have any questions leave them down below I will be happy to answer them if you have other suggestions on how to polish steel and other metals Leave them down below. We can all learn together um, and build a little bit of a discussion in the comments and uh, figure out, you know, the best way to do this stuff. I learn as I go. This is a great system for me, and I think it would be great for you as well. Um, you can follow me on Instagram right here, at Make Everything Shop. See what I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis here in the shop. I post every day and sort of share behind-the-scenes stuff on the projects I'm working on and a little bit of look into what I'm doing next. I really hope you enjoyed this. Again, I am Chris Zepp from Make Everything, and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks.